the very moment, a young carp seal waits for his mother to bring him his uh, next meal. As he waits, he waddles around, and suddenly he feels a sharp pain and realizes he is uh, trapped in a claw trap. Um, the man who works for a fur industry doesn't hesitate to bludgeon the young harp seal, since his is only one of the eight needed to make a fur coat. According to the Sea, the sea Shepherd Conservation S Society, many young seals haven't even eaten their first meal or even learned how to swim before they are um, skinned for fur. According to PETA, there are 25 different other types of animals that are hunted worldwide for their fur. Um, in 1998, it was actually uncovered in um, countries like China that dogs and cats were used um, for their fur as well. Today, I will first give information on why wearing or buying fur condones animal cruelty. And then next, I will let you know how fur is making its way back into the fashion industry. And, and lastly, I will let you know some of the ways that we can stop animal cruelty so these animals can actually keep their fur. So first I will give the information on why buying or wearing fur condones animal cruelty. We often see fur worn, but we do not see the grim story of where that fur actually comes from. Animals that are killed for their fur die in the most painful and horrible ways so that their fur will not be damaged. Claw traps are laid to catch the animals, but often the animal chews off its own foot to be free only to that layer of blood loss, exposure, or infection. Often pet owners will lose their dog or cat due to, due to these traps, like in states like Nevada and Arizona. If the animal is not dead when the trappers finally get there, the animals are stomped on, have their necks snapped, strangled, gassed, poisoned, or electrocuted anally or vaginally. Most of the time, the animals wake up while they're being skinned. And according to the Sea, the sea Shepherd Society, veterans and Department of Fisheries officers have found that many sea skulls are not adequately crushed, so they were actually still alive. There are fur farms that hold and breed fur-bearing <coughs> animals. The most common fur-bearing animals are minks, followed by foxes, chinchillas, lynxes, and even hamsters are farmed for their fur. According to mercyforanimals.org, the average cage is 10 inches wide and 24 inches long, which most animals have a whole forest to run the cages and get into it. So the fur industry has a set number of uh, animals that actually needs to make a fur coat. So the uh, statistics that I've showed you is that you need uh, 16 coyotes to make a 40 inch coat, uh, 18 lynx, 60 minx, uh, 45 possums, um, 20 otters, 42 red fox, 50 raccoons, and uh, yeah, 50 sables, eight seals, 15 muskrats, and 15 beavers. This is also an example of uh, how an animal, when it chews off its own leg, but they still keep it for the next couple of days and keep it in the uh, cage until it's gonna be eaten and then it's gonna rip off. Next, I will let you know how fur is making its way back into the fashion industry. back into the fashion industry, especially in the wintertime. Celebrities such as Lindsay Lohan simply don't care or just don't know how fur is actually made. Grammy winner Beyonce has also been seen wearing fur, but when confronted by members of PETA, she had nothing to say in defense. Members of PETA have actually um, posted this discussion on YouTube. Anti-fur demonstrations haven't taken place late lately since PETA had thought that they won the war on fur in the 90s but we are seeing that younger women and that even young men are wearing fur in the wintertime. And fur has also been seen as a sign of elegance, but cavemen wore fur, so it's actually a sign of barbarianism, yet it's been seen as uh, being more elegant. And uh, lastly, I will tell you some of the ways that we can all contribute to stopping fur, um, to stopping the fur industry from, having, from harming innocent animals. There are many different ways we can help the lives of these animals so that they can keep their fur. Don't buy or wear fur. Alternative clothing materials um, don't have real fur. If there's no demand for it, it will basically not exist. Compassion is the best fashion. Only wear faux fur. <laughs> wear animal-friendly clothing, such as uh, Pete actually has a list of um, companies that um, don't have any leather or any fur products and uh, also boycott companies who sell fur. Call a right to companies, asking them to change their policy on fur. 
Companies such as Burberry, Bay Bay, Marshalls, Carmet, um, Lin May, and Tico. I personally actually called Burberry and told them that I wasn't going to purchase any of their products or any of their bags <coughs> at all until they actually started um, changing their policy on fur. And uh, be a part of anti-fur demonstrations. The more voices, the more people will listen. Or you can go naked and wear fur. You have to get people's attention somehow. Um, if you own fur, please donate to PETA. You will get a tax-deductible donation. Donated fur will be used for educational displays and anti-fur demonstrations. Now let me summarize what I have discussed with you today about wearing fur. By wearing fur, we are condoning the, um, we are doing the injustice to animals that, it, that is costly in their lives. We are dying in brutal ways just so that their fur will not be damaged for the next wearing it. We can all do our part, big or small, to help save the lives of all animals. Animals do not have voices, so let's all speak for them and speak out against fur and how they will not be tolerated as a fashion. I hope after today you have all found a greater compassion for all animals and a disgust for the fur industry. Thank you.